This book is written for everybody because I think we all undervalue ourselves from time to time. And some people do it chronically. We're more familiar with that, but we all do it at times. It's, it's very natural. If we've been through a defeat of some kind, we've lost our job or divorce or just lost at a game, we start undervaluing ourselves in all directions. So somebody meets us and we don't know, but they like us fine. We think that they wouldn't be interested in us. We're not attractive enough. We're not smart enough. They're too busy. And often we found out later that they would have enjoyed being with us. So we just blew it. We undervalued ourselves. Human beings are always engaged in two activities. One of them is what we might call love, or I sometimes call linking. Uh, which is connecting with each other and we aren't thinking very much about how good we are right then We're just enjoying being with someone and the other that animals do all the time if you watch cats dogs a herd of horses people monkeys They're ranking all the time. They always have a hierarchy as to who's the one that gets the food first or gets the comfortable place to sit and we th this this ranking thing is when it is that we're valuing ourselves as good or bad or better than or less than. If we can stay out of the ranking mode, then we just won't be valuing ourselves one way or the other. We'll be focused on linking. They're, they're somewhat mutually exclusive. When you're doing one, the other's not happening as much. It really helps to become more aware of which is going on, love or power, or ranking or linking, which one is going on, because often they're, they're confused. We, someone says that they love us or they like us, but uh, is that what's actually going on or is it actually motivated by, by something more to do with power, trying to influence you to do something? On the other hand, people can do things that feel like they're all about power and in fact they're done out of a loving motivation. Someone can criticize you and you become very enraged and don't like them and you're better than they are. but. Uh, often, not, not always, but sometimes those are well-intended, um, meant to be helpful. So recognizing ranking and linking and keeping them separate is very important and switching from ranking to linking as much as we can. If you're not going to be able to switch easily, there's usually big causes, there's big defeats that make you on guard and conservative for the rest of your life. So, but this book tries to get at that layer by layer, kind of peeling back the unconscious in a way that I don't think um, books have really done before.